Ben Joyce is the ex-volunteer fireman who you did not want showing up for work when you were around. His fastball in the one year that he played at the University of Tennessee averaged over 100 miles an hour, and he set the record for the fastest pitch in college baseball history at 105.5 miles an hour. Would you believe it if I told you he topped out at 65 miles per hour his freshman year of high school? Ben and his twin brother, Zach, grew up in Knoxville, Tennessee, both of course falling in love with the game of baseball. And go figure, they shared quite a similar path moving through high school and through college. Ben and Zach both entered high school around 5'3", 5'4", 95 to 100 pounds. And as I mentioned before, Ben topped out at 65 miles per hour his first year in high school. It would still be a couple years until they really hit their growth spurt. And turns out their family doctor actually had to shut them down multiple times from playing baseball because they were going through so much pain with how much they were growing. His junior year of high school, Ben finally made the varsity baseball team, still only about 5'5", five five, and he got up to 80 miles an hour. Then, they both grew 8 inches heading into their senior year of high school. He was now 6'1", and his increase in size made a big difference on the baseball field. Ben topped out at around 92 in his senior year, and after his senior year hit 95. They weren't recruited much through high school because of their late growth spurt, so both of them decided to commit to Walter State Community College to stay in baseball. They would both end up playing one year at Walter State, and Ben during this one year had a 15.24 strikeout per nine. Walter State made it to the Junior College Baseball World Series that year, and a lot more eyes were on Ben and Zach than ever before. Ben was now hitting 101 miles an hour, and Zach was up at 97. Then they got the offer they were looking for, and they both committed to the University of Tennessee on their 19th birthday in 2019. Unfortunately, soon after, Zach would feel a pop in his elbow while warming up for a game, and he would end up needing Tommy John surgery. When the time came for them to report to the University of Tennessee, Zach had just gotten surgery, and he eventually would decide to step away from baseball for a period of time. At around the same time, Ben started fall ball at UT and he would end up tearing his UCL as well and needing Tommy John. Ben would have to redshirt in 2021 and miss Tennessee's push to the College World Series. But Ben would come ready to play in 2022. And he would come out throwing straight gas. That's 104 and then 104 again and again, it's pretty safe to assume that this is what it looked like behind home plate about every game for him. Scouts everywhere. And on this pitch, he set the record for the fastest pitch in college baseball history, 105.5 miles per hour. And in case you were wondering, that's technically the second fastest pitch ever officially recorded in baseball. And I'm not talking just college baseball. Aroldis Chapman had the fastest ever officially recorded pitch, which I believe was like 105.8, but they call it 106. And then there's some people who think that back in 1940, they could accurately track the speed of a pitch. And some say Bob Feller threw a pitch that was 107.6 miles per hour. I have my doubts on this one. And then the legendary Nolan Ryan was also said to throw a pitch over 108 miles an hour. But again, their way of tracking velocity was different from how we do it nowadays. Ben, you threw 105 today. <laughs> what that like? I actually didn't know until after Jared Dickey was like, or right before the last thing, he was like, hey, maybe try to throw in a little harder. So, I mean, that, that was crazy to think about afterwards. I was trying not to think about it during, but it's, it's pretty crazy to think about, for sure. The rest of the 2022 season, Ben left his fire hose at home and only brought his flamethrower to work. He would finish his only year at Tennessee with 32 and a third innings pitched, a 2.23 ERA, 53 strikeouts to 14 walks, which equates to a 14.8 strikeouts per nine, and he also had a 0.99 whip. And by the way, the fastball isn't his only pitch. He's got a wipeout slider and a split change he uses too. After his senior year was over, Ben entered the 2022 MLB draft, and he was selected in the third round by the Los Angeles Angels. The Angels go with Ben Joyce, a name we've talked about quite a bit over the last few days. And then there's another Tennessee guy too. I mean, he hit 105 miles an hour with his fastball this spring, averaged 101. I mean, it's the best fastball in the draft. And it's not just velocity, he throws it from a low slot with a really nasty approach angle. It's gonna be interesting. Tennessee handled him very carefully. He's coming back from Tommy John surgery. He's had injury issues in the past. 
He only pitched once or twice a week. I think he's a reliever. He's going to have to be able to pitch more frequently and get better command of the slider to succeed in pro ball. A 100 plus, we'll take it. 105. Up to the Mets. Ben was then assigned to the AA affiliate of the Angels, the team with probably the best minor league mascot out there, the Rocket City Trash Pandas. In his first exposure to pro ball, he's pitched to a 2.08 ERA with a 13.8 strikeouts per nine and a 1.15 whip. With where the Angels are at with their ball club, as well as with Ben's progression so far, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him in the major leagues at some point in 2023. As for his brother Zach, he's headed back to the University of Tennessee now fully recovered, and with two years left of eligibility, he might be a starting pitcher as he has a four or five pitch mix. And take a look at these bullpens. Like his twin brother, he also throws gas. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. To wrap it up, here's a little pitching ninja and how Ben grips his pitches. I just do a normal four seam. Uh, I keep I keep my fingers together, um, my thumb on the very bottom, and honestly just try to rip it as hard as I can every time. <laughs> so I used to throw a circle change, and then we we were kind of messing with grips, and I ended up it's almost more of like a I have I have a baseball. It's oh, more awesome! Of a, let's let's see your uh, change up. Yeah, and your it's more of like a splitter. Like I could just kind of split the the two seam right here and just really just try to throw it like a fastball. And, I, and when I get that, that kind of same arm action, that's when I get the, the sink and the, and it kind of drops a little at the end. Um, but yeah, that, that was something Coach Anderson showed me. He was like, just try this grip. And I ended up feeling the most comfortable with that one. What's your slider grip look like? It's, I'm, right, I'm right here. Uh, I try to get, uh, so my four seams like this, and I basically just move it over a little to the, to the edge of this seam. Uh, with my thumb on the bottom. Gotcha. And just really, I, I try to stay stay on top of it as much as I can. I, I kind of had a tendency to just literally just like kind of pull it like that and it would yep. just kind of spin out of my hand or, or I'd yank it glove side. So I really, I've really just been trying to kind of throw it as hard as I can but still get on top of it and just pull straight down, which has kind of helped the command and the velocity too. Thank you for watching and please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll put a link on the right side of the screen to my player profile series. All right, guys, goodbye, Zondi. Don't forget it. Stop it.